Good morning, y'all. <laughs> uh oh, oh dear. Okay, good morning. Uh, <laughs> I am just Joycelyn. I am a believer. I am a creative and important arts educator uh, here in Memphis, Tennessee. And you are watching Morning Inspiration in School in a Pandemic. And uh, so this is D2. This is day two. Um, so I'm on my way to work. And, you know, I will say this before I say anything. Um, one of the blessings um, that I kind of took for granted, um, as I said before in the previous video, that I do live in a different space now. And, you know, being up as early as I am now, I get a chance to see the sunrise, which is really kind of beautiful. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's just little things like that that you kind of, that I kind of took for granted, you know, being at home and virtually teaching in a space that I'm in, I, do, I don't see uh, the sunrise. And so um, it's been a beautiful thing. Like as I'm driving through now, I can kind of see like the sun coming up and the changes of colors in the sky, you know, I try to capture something. You know, you can see like a little bit of it. So it's really kind of cool. So I, I praise God uh, for little things like that. And being in a situation that I'm in right now, you know, um, like I said before, I've been praying and I was seeking God at the beginning of this year that I would be able to be content and seek God in the little things. And so, um, yeah, so this morning when I was there, I said, you know what? It is really beautiful out here, you know, just to kind of glance over and see, just to kind of see that, um, you know, I, oh, it just made me feel really thankful. Um, so yeah, um, so I'm gonna post a, a debrief uh, video. I was gonna do it last night, but I was like super, super tired. And so uh, this morning, um, I feel okay. Um, I was like really tired yesterday. So, you know, once I came home, um, I was gonna try to find one of those uh, HEPA filters, air purifiers. Um, they do say that they, um, you know, but y'all, oh, oh my gosh, some of those are like really, really expensive. Like the ones that are, are supposed to be like the ones that kind of um, guard against uh, COVID or, you know, have the true HEPA filter. So I found it's a difference between a HEPA filter and a true HEPA filter. The true HEPA filter is like one of the closest that you can get to it. And oh my goodness, that thing was like $500. I was like, $500? You know, and so it's like, is your work life worth five hundred dollars? And I was like, no, you know. So I don't know. I'm, I'm still, I'm still gonna be, I'm gonna pray on that one. I'm pray on that one because that's a lot of money. But it's supposed to be able to uh, filter out those particles. So we'll see. Um, but um, you know, so like I said yesterday, I changed my desk all around. So we'll see how that works with the students today. And again, um, um, I feel okay. Um, you know, last night, I, this morning I woke up, I had like a little bit of a headache, but you know, I don't have like a fever and all stuff like that, you know, so um, I don't know if it was just kind of like something that was going on with my body or whatever, you know, I feel, I feel okay now, I feel cool now, so no big issue, um, but um, yeah, I feel cool, so I'm on the way to work, this is day two, um, expecting good things, not sure. Maybe I have all my students come today, uh, but regardless of the fact, oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. But regardless of the fact, you know, I'm trusting in God, I'm believing in Him, um, and um, I'm very thankful for a friend of mine. She sent a, a scripture uh, to us on yesterday, and uh, shout out to the beautiful Erin <laughs> Devine, Lindsay Freeman, and uh, this scripture was really awesome, y'all, that she sent. And, um, let me read. Yeah, so this is really awesome. It came from Philippians 4, uh, chapter 6 through 8. And it says, Do not be anxious for anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God that transcends all understanding. <laughs> that transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever things are true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is amiable, whatever is excellent, whatever is praiseworthy, think on such things. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lizzie. And um, 
you know so that scripture is really an amazing scripture and today like i said before like i said yesterday i'm gonna be focused on um, peace and on joy and making sure i am the best teacher i can be to those amazing students and focus on amazing things like that y'all check that out jeez louise that is amazing that is amazing <laughs> So I thank God for the little things and I pray that you do the same and let us go to God in prayer. God, we thank you so much for this amazing day, Lord God, a day that we have seen, um, a day, Lord God, that we are here and we are alive and we say thank you, Lord God. God, we uh, just take this time to uh, ask a special prayer for all those who are on their way to work, whether they're working at home or whether they're working um, actually inside of a building, God, or outside of a building. God, I also pray for um, students, Lord, who are uh, entering into the classroom, also teachers and administrators and our support staff and god i just pray right now um that you give peace and rest to your people um lord god i pray for those um who are in fear lord god who are um in fear and those of us who have anxiety lord god i pray that you would just touch and heal and give that peace lord god so they will, we won't be so anxious and god i also uh, pray right now for um those who do not know you, um, I pray, Lord, if you, I pray right now, if you are somebody uh, who are ready to receive Jesus Christ, just know that all you have to do is to believe that he died on the cross um, for your sins and that he was rose again on the third day. And if you believe that, you are now saved. And if you are somebody uh, at the sound of my voice where right now you're just kind of like, oh, I am not feeling this Jesus thing, please know I do understand. Um, it is a process, but know that he is standing there with open arms ready to receive you in jesus name amen amen so thank you guys for tuning in um again keep us all in your prayers and we will keep you in our prayers and uh until tomorrow y'all be blessed this is just joycelyn and this is a morning inspiration <laughs> and i am featuring being in school in a pandemic all right see y'all later have a good day